Hey guys, good evening. I almost want to say good morning, but it is evening. I'm Rins Kadauna and this is my art channel. Thank you for joining me today. How my day is going? Well, I've scraped this panel a couple of times and I started with a white base, but now I am left with a very neutral sort of army green color for the base. And I'm gonna let this paint color teach me to use neutral colors, but also it needs a little bit of bizarre, right? So I was thinking using neutral colors and a vibrant orange one. And then just hope these colors are working together and I have still enough base on the canvas. So let's get started. All right, so let's create something. Ooh, you know, it's fun when things don't work out and I get in a sort of play mood and try different things than I would normally do. Okay, I will start with a dark olive green. So more composition, I already know. That would be nice. Okay, so let's go with the orange. Or no, let's, let's go with a little bit of white. But I do want quite a lot of orange to show up. That looks so strange. Paint's gray. There we go. Not too much more for the contrast. And I do have a little bit of olive green, light olive green. Just, just a bit. Bold, of course, bold. This will be interesting. Let's blow it out. All right, so probably you can agree with me that this blowout is not my best blowout. But with the tweaking, everything can change. So there's a lot of orange, which I wanted. So that is great to start with. And let's make the center first. That will come there. Oh, I went quite fast with the tweaking. Uh, but they, we can work on that later when it's dry. Uh, do I want to let this dry? That's the question. <laughs> It does have something, something different and a little bit exciting. I can't <laughs> judge this objectively anymore, I guess. You know, uh, everything went bad today, so um, I think <laughs> this is my best for today. And so I just don't know if this is something to love or something to scrape. You want the center. Really differently. Now it's so different. Okay. 
Okay. Well, 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 the result of today, it's even evening now. You know, I always start in the morning and that's why I say good morning, guys. Maybe I said it, oh, I missed it this time as well, but it's evening and I really need to get home. Okay, yeah, I will let this dry. Very curious how it will dry and if I can touch it up with some gold details. The painting is now dry and as much as I love how this turned out, I do want to touch it up with some gold and create more of a focal point here in the center. I want to show you how I do that and as well how I sign my artwork. I'm using a gold acrylic pencil by Amsterdam. This one has a round soft tip and is two millimeter wide. Well, the great thing about this gold pencil is that you can only see the gold lines that I'm drawing if you are looking in the right light. I'm drawing a spiral in the center and outlining some of the leaves. I notice that you're not seeing the lines I'm drawing in the light of the cameras. So wait for the right reveal because it is bold. These pencils come in all sorts of shapes and colors. Of course, we have them all available on my website, rinskedauna.com. This is a great way to touch up your paintings and give it just that extra interest. When it comes to signing my artwork, I'm using a different pen, a, a one millimeter Posca pencil. This pencil has a hard and pointy tip and it's just like writing on paper really. This way I know my signature is nice and crisp. I do not always sign my artwork by the way on the side, mostly on the back. So I do not interfere with the overall composition of the work and the painting can be hanged in all ways. But for this artwork, I had a certain composition in mind and really wanted my signature visible on the side. I did write a blog on my website about how to sign your artwork, how I created my signature and how I decide where and what I sign. And then finally, it is time to show you the end result. It all came together with the pops of orange the gold highlights in the center and just this overall painting. I'm super happy with how this turned out. I hope you loved watching this video and I would love to hear where and how you signed your artwork and what you think about the final gold touches. I'll see you next time.